Hey guys, it's Brian the Shaving Geek here with another episode of My Shave of the Day. An exuberant Brian the Shaving Geek here with another episode of My Shave of the Day. Had a wonderful shave to start off my day today. And I just got done watching the USA uh, Germany uh, Women's World Cup soccer match uh, with my family. Just been absolutely enjoying watching the Women's World Cup. Uh, my son has really gotten into it. And uh, just a wonderful game today and uh, really enjoyed it. So had a great day, uh, great shave to start my day and a wonderful end to the day with uh, just a beautiful, uh, beautiful game played by the, the ladies. And uh, so anyhow, uh, I'm sure you're not tuning in to hear me blather about soccer. And uh, so let's get down to my shave today. Today for my brush, I had the opportunity to use a new brush to me. Uh, this is an EverReady 100T that my brother uh, has re-knotted with an Anthony McKenzie Badger knot that I believe he's calling his Miami Knights um, knot. Now I believe, and I may be wrong, but I do believe that these are the same knot. Uh, this one just seems to have bloomed a little bit more. And I believe my brother said he set this one a little bit deeper. Um, than this one here. And if you put them side by side, it does seem that this one just is a, a hair taller. Um, and this one obviously has bloomed uh, quite a bit more. Um, now, this one I think probably has a little bit more backbone and probably that's because it's it set uh, a little deeper than this one. Um, but it may be that this one just hasn't, hasn't broken in as much. I, I don't know. Uh, but I really enjoyed using this. And Although I haven't used these two side by side, um, I would say that I have enjoyed them both equally as well. And I would say that to date, this has been my favorite badger knot that I've used. Uh, no, that's not to say that I've had a, a huge experience with badger knots. I only have my Ascali badger, um, one that uh, a Rodney custom, and I believe that may be a TGN knot, but I'm not positive on that. Um, I've got my recent uh, acquisition, uh, the the re-knot um, that was done by Thomas Burgess uh, with, a, with a Nathan Clark um, badger, and then I've tried these two. Um, and to date, this has been my favorite knot. So um, this Anthony McKenzie, um, I, I've just been a, a very impressed with all of the knots of his that I've tried so far. Um, I've enjoyed every one. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, putting this particular knot, his Miami Lights knot, uh, up against my current favorite synthetic, uh, the Nathan Clark. And I'm going to be doing a video uh, about that in the next couple of days where I uh, basically lather one side of my face with one and, and uh, the other with the other and then swap and we'll kind of see how they compare and uh, see if one comes up as a winner or if there's a tie or what we find out. But uh, if you are interested in uh, some some knots, uh, definitely check out Anthony McKenzie's um, Etsy stories. Just put that up. I believe it's AMAC4, A-M-A-C-K, the number four, shaving um, at Etsy. But just uh, if, if that doesn't get you there, uh, look for Miami Nights, Miami Lights, and Miami Sunrise, uh, and you should be able to find his knots. Uh, they seem to be very reasonably, reasonably priced, and again, I have just enjoyed them. Um, I've enjoyed all of them. So that was my brush today. Uh, it definitely loaded and lathered this soap easily. This is a new soap to me, um, a brand new vendor. I've never tried anything from this vendor. And uh, again, my brother uh, just dropped off, uh, I don't know, it was five or six soaps that I hadn't tried before. I've been working my way through them, and uh, this was one of them. Um, and that is uh, Chiseled Face Grumatorium. Now this is a relatively newcomer to the uh, soap market. Um, I've seen a number of scents uh, that have, have uh, intrigued me. Um, and this was one of them. I'm definitely intrigued by Sherlock. Um, I'm intrigued by his uh, Ghost Town Barber, um, which I've smelled but haven't used uh, up to this point. And uh, this was definitely one that had intrigued me. Now this is... Uh, from um, their description on chiseledface.com, it's an aquatic scent, uh, notes of um, ozone and a few other things, uh, as well as um, it's supposed to remind you of uh, Old Spice, like a base of Old Spice. To be honest with you, I'm not sure I get that out of the tub. Um, it, it, to me, it smells like soap. Uh, it's, it's nice, it's clean, it's fresh. Um, it's just a musky soap is what I get from it. Um, is it is it a scent that uh, wows me? 
I can't say that it does. Um, is it a scent that I liked? Yes. Um, is it a scent that I loved? No. Um, from a scent, per, a scent strength perspective, it's it's right on point to me. Um, I, I get it right out of the tub. I don't have to search for it. And um, I, I enjoyed it. But um, to say that I loved it or that this would somehow, this scent would somehow um, be, you know, in my top 10 scents of all time. No. It, it, to me, it's nice, uh, enjoyable, um, but based on the scent alone, I'm not going to go out and buy it. Um, it was just okay for me. Uh, the performance, though, was was very, very good. Um, it, it loaded, lathered easily. It had the cushion, the glide, everything that you want in a soap. So definitely looking forward to uh, some opportunities to try some other soaps uh, from um, Chiseled Face Grumatorium. Definitely think the product itself works very well. Um, and uh, just interested to see uh, what else is going to come from Chiseled Face. I know they've put out uh, a line of aftershave splashes as well. And one of the other things that I really wanted to... Uh, uh, comment on is just the packaging. Um, one of the things that uh, a lot of times happens with newcomers to wet shaving is they'll put out a very, very good product, but the packaging initially will be suspect and it takes a little bit of time for the packaging to catch up to the quality of the soap. Uh, in this particular case, that's that, that's not the case. Uh, to me, this is absolutely beautifully done. Um, this this uh, um, label is, is perfect. Uh, it definitely appears to be waterproof um, uh, or at least water resistant. Um, although I, I didn't honestly uh, wet it too much, but it, it you know it does seem. And actually, let's just take a it's my brother's soap. You know who, who cares? Um, yeah, I mean there's water on it and it's not bubbling. It's not fading. It's not uh, no. I mean, it definitely looks, no, nothing's coming off. So, um, yeah, definitely uh, impressed with with uh, the packaging for a newcomer. Uh, let me just go ahead and dry that so my, it doesn't totally ruin it. But, uh, no, I mean, it, it definitely looks like it's water resistant. And, uh, again, just very, very beautifully packaged. Nice tub, nice plastic tub, very, very sturdy. So, all in all, very happy with this, um, th this soap from a performance and perspective and a packaging perspective, um, the scent was just, meh, okay for me. And that's okay. You're not going to love every scent. Uh, I've come to come to, to learn that, come to understand that. And um, so this is just one that was okay. It was nice. It was pleasant. Um, but just based on scent alone, I, I, I personally um, wouldn't go out and buy this soap. But looking forward to trying other scents from this vendor. Uh, very impressed with that overall. Um, I kind of jumped ahead here and I totally forgot my razor. Uh, today was Tuesday, so you know for me, Toggle Tuesday. Uh, so my my beautiful toggle here in Rhodium came out. Uh, an Astra blade, uh, Astra green blade. Shave number three on this blade. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful shave. Uh, absolutely love it. Uh, the you know the, again I've said this before the fact that it's you know a highly sought after razor is nice but for me quite frankly I, I couldn't care less about uh, that kind of stuff yes I, I do want um, those kinds of razors in my den but there's no shelf queens for me I want razors that I can use and razors that I'm going to enjoy and the toggle is one that I enjoy. For my aftershave, I really wasn't quite sure what to uh, pair with the trade ones. I knew that there were supposed to be an uh, Old Spice notes, and I honestly didn't pick those up. Um, and so I just decided not to go that route. Um, I grabbed, uh, and again, it's probably not the best pairing ever, definitely not an aquatic scent that I understand or that I know of, but I just don't keep up with what's an aquatic and what's a non-aquatic scent. Uh, I just like it. And so I got out the fine platinum today. Um, wonderful aftershave. Whew. Um, it, it's funny. There's something about this aftershave that um, reminds me of a cabin that my mom and dad used to own uh, at a church campground when I was growing up. And there's just something about that uh, aftershave that takes me back there every time I use it. And uh, so kind of funny, uh, bizarre, weird. It's funny how you have those associations 
uh, with certain scents and sounds, uh, the mind games that your your, your brain plays. But uh, that's where I go with it. But I love uh, Fine Platinum, and so that's what I ended with today. So it was a wonderful shave. I uh, think I only went two passes this morning, um, and uh, got a very nice close shave, not BBS, but uh, it was a close shave, an enjoyable shave, and overall, I was happy. So this is Brian the Shaving Geek, an exuberant Brian the Shaving Geek, looking forward to Sunday's uh, final game, uh, Go Team USA, and uh, this is Brian reporting live from my shave, then wishing you a lifetime of happy shaves. Have a great day, everybody.